Hello, this is MakerJ101, and today we're going to replace the pressure relief valve on my um, steam engine, and we'll do a run of the steam engine. I know it's been a long time since I've done a run. Um, but, yeah, so I just uh, bought a new pressure relief valve on Amazon for about $7, I think it was. So, and it looks pretty nice, too. It came with um, four springs, and it's supposed to be between, um, for between 25 and 200 PSI, I think. So you just replace the springs for different PSIs, and here's the, there's the little uh, seal with a stopper thing, whatever you call it. So it's pretty simple, but it was really cheap, and it looks pretty, like it's pretty good quality, so I'm happy with that. I'll put a link in the description to um, buying that if you want to buy one. Um, so, yeah, this is my whole main wood. I just, I don't know, I just thought I'd buy something a little bit smaller and nicer looking, because this thing is ginormous, so... <laughs> But yeah, but this thing still works. It works okay. I mean, it doesn't seal all that great, so decided to buy a new one. And um, so I have a little uh, female connector here, and I'll basically cut this in half, and then solder that onto. I'm going to cut this off here, cut the um, nipple off there, and then put solder that on there. So let's do that, and I'll show you how to solder that too. All right. So first, I'm just going to cut this piece off using my one of my favorite cutting tools, the drum tool, with a diamond cutting bit on here. So you're going to really make, want to make sure you get that sh surface really shiny and so there's no oxide and stuff like that on there so that the solder will stick well. Alright, so now let's cut our connector in half so we can solder, I mean I could just solder this directly on here like that but I want to cut it in half so that it's not as tall and so I can get two connectors out of this or two um, adapters. So what I'm going to do is just screw in another piece here so that I don't squish it when I put it in the vise. Alright so we've got the surface all cleaned up. So now this is going to go right on there and then our um, pressure relief valve will screw right in. So I'm actually thinking about, I might want to make this hole bigger so that it matches the size of the hole in there just so that I can get enough um, steam flow through there. So once you've got your surfaces all cleaned up, so this is nice and shiny, this one's nice and shiny, and they fit together real nice, there's not much of a gap or anything, so it looks perfect. Now what you got to do is add some flux, and then we can heat it up and solder it. So I'm just using this um, water-soluble uh, lead-free pipe solder flux, because I'm using lead-free solder. So you use lead-free solder pipe flux, and then so just stick them together with the flux. You want a good amount of flux on there, you don't want too much, but not enough will also cause you problems, so center it up real good, and that looks pretty darn good if you ask me. Now let's solder it. When your solder, er, when the flux starts to sizzle, that means that it's about hot enough. Just try to heat it evenly as best you can. See if it's. I forgot to mention that you want to heat up the largest thing with the blowtorch. So concentrate on the largest piece. Um, and then you also do not want to heat up the joint itself because that will do two things. It will burn off your flux and then it will also heat up the surface of the um, work pieces and that will corrode it and then you won't get your solder to stick very well. So keep keep the flame away from the area where your solder is actually going to be, and let the heat conduct up to it. And there we go. Do some on the other side here. And that looks pretty good. You ask me. Looks perfect. Now we're just going to let it cool. And look at that absolutely beautiful solder joint. It's flowed all around there really nicely. It's just perfect. So that's why I love soldering brass and copper because it just flows so well, the solder, when you heat it up and do it properly. It just flows around there so well. It's perfect wetting of the material. So that is a nice, strong, solid joint. And now wherever our pressure relief valve is, wherever I put it, here it is. You can screw that in there, 
and it looks perfect. So yeah, that's how you solder it. Now steel is a little bit harder, you have to heat it up a bit more um, for it to really wet very well and you may have to reapply the flux after you've heated it up, if you've been heating it up for a while. But this just went perfect. So it takes a lot of practice, but you'll get the hang of it if you do it a lot. And here is the finished product. That looks amazing if you ask me. So much better than my old, uh, big old clunky one. It's basically the same size as the whole thing. But yeah, so let's get rid of this one. I mean, I'll still keep it, but um, yeah, that looks much better. Look at that. All brass, some nice silver solder there. Looks awesome. So should be really nice and easy to adjust. I should be able to get wide range of pressure on it. So I am very happy with that, how it looks. So yeah, much better though. So let's put it in. I would have put Teflon tape on here, but there was already some kind of a red sealant stuff on there. So I skipped the Teflon tape, and um, we'll put Teflon tape on here, though, to seal it into the boiler, because this is where I fill it up with water.